Here's your three-step guide to financial freedom. Step one, learning the difference between an asset and a liability. Step two, knowing what mindset you're in and which mindset you need to be in. And step three is putting that knowledge into action. Breaking this down, step one, the difference between an asset and a liability quite simply comes down to cash flow. Does this asset, does it put money into your pocket or does it take money out of your pocket? Your primary residence is not an asset unless you rent it to somebody or unless you sell it because it's not putting money into your pocket. On a month-to-month basis, this taking money out of your pocket between the mortgage payment, insurance, taxes, and maintenance. Rental properties, on the other hand, put money into your pocket after the cost of the mortgage and insurance and taxes and maintenance is paid. If there's extra money coming in from the rent, that's positive cash flow, and that means it's an asset. And this concept is actually why I'm not a huge fan of retirement plans because 401ks do not cash flow. They don't put money into your pocket for 30 or 40 years. They take money out of your pocket. So when it comes to that mindset we talked about, what mindset are you? Saving and investing for retirement 40 years from now? Or are you trying to create financial freedom sooner? And if your answer is that you're trying to create financial freedom as soon as possible, then we need to shift our mindset. We need to take action, start acquiring assets that are going to cash flow now to create that financial freedom. I'm Ron Sneller. Follow me here for more information and thanks for tuning in.